Good morning, everyone, from beautiful, sunny Florida. It's 9.30 in the morning, and it's 85 degrees already, so the summer is definitely almost here. Today we're flying from here in Melbourne, Florida, to New York's Westchester County Airport. It's about two hours and 45 minutes up in the air, 41,000 feet. Should be a nice, smooth flight. Come sit right and see with me. Be my co-pilot. Let's go fly. Good morning, Citation 2 Romeo, Foxtrot, Information, and Uniform, Clearance, to Kilo Hotel, Papa Nova. Citation 2 Romeo, November, clear to the White Plains Airport as well, maintain 2,000, expect flight level 410, within 1-0 one minutes of departure, departure frequency of 132.65, squawk 3257. Alright, thanks. Citation 2 Romeo, Foxtrot, clear to Westchester County Airport, as filed, maintain 2,000, expect 410 in 10 minutes. Departures 13265, squawk 3257. Now, two Romeo, question, uh, two Romeo Fox, we'll be back correct. Two Romeo Fox, thank you, appreciate it. All right, everyone, welcome on board. Okay, my one ground, Doing well. All right. It is hot. All right. So we got a couple things here. Checklist time. We got checklist and we got our Dunkin' Donuts. So we are vibing right now. We're in business. Cockpit items. Oxygen is in. Circuit breakers are in. Gens are off for the GP start. Emer lights are on standby. The light display is tested and on. Dispatch is off. Fuel quantity is balanced. We're topped off today. We'll talk a little bit about why we are for only a two and a half hour flight once we do get in the air. Initialization has been completed. CVR we don't have, parking brake is set, verified cast set, wheel chocks are removed, cabin door I closed it. Passive briefing, single pot today, no passengers. Seat, seat belts and pedals are adjusted. Engine instruments and messages are good. And AC is coming off for the engine start. Clear right, two, here we go. That's just me giving this sign to the uh, very nice line crew that we're starting up. We got N2. There's ignition. Fuel flow, a light off. All right, good start. One, clear lift. And we're just watching for the same things here. N2 rotation, we need to see N1 by 25 N2, which we do have. Fuel flow, pressures, and temps all coming up, staying in the green. That is a good start. We're gonna get the disconnect GPU sign here, which is this. Left, on, generate, off, on, AC much needed. Okay. Alrighty. So, before taxi, AC is on, electric elevator trim is checked and set, autopilot is good and checked. Aileron and rudder trim is checked and set. Flight controls, I'm up, down, free and correct. Flaps. Continue kilo charter to two seven right. Ground spoilers good. Retracted, and they're up, and they're down. Ground two two two. Echo big blue with uniform right taxi VFR to the south. Ice protection not needed. Avionics are checked and set. Takeoff data is posted. One hundred one hundred two one twelve one thirty. Echo big blue right taxi VFR to the south. All right, landing elevation is set for White Plains at 439. Messages are normal. Messages checked. Afterfighter is open. And we're good. All right, taxi checklist is complete. Ground citation, 2 Romeo, Foxshot, Information India, and Shelter ready for taxi. 
Two Romeo Fox, so what was the position? I missed that. Yeah, no worries. We're at shelter. Two Romeo Fox, runway 27 left via Sierra. 27 left via Sierra, citation. Two Romeo Fox, shut thanks. All right, clear left, clear right. Melbourne Ground, 5958 Whiskey. All right. How about Whiskey, Melbourne Ground? This is going to be a really quick taxi. Uh, Appreciate it. Shelter, looking to take off towards... Uh, taxi Sebring, lights coming on. Uh, with uniform. Bobby, who's going to stay Brakes to feel really nice. Roger that. And you're ready to taxi for 58 uniform? All right. Steer lights are yeah, good. Brakes are checked. Right now, yes, Nosewheel steering is working. Flinchments are good. All righty. We're about to check. Cross runway 27 right good. at uh, Quebec. Turn right on Kilo. And left. Cross 27 right and turn right on Kilo. It is good. All right, before takeoff, ice protection systems are not needed. Pass seats, no passengers. Flaps are 15, indicating 15. Speed brake is down. Trims, one, two, three times are set. Crew breathing. All right, uh, it's gonna be a left seat departure today. Anything below V1, max braking, thrust levers idle, speed brakes deployed. We'll uh, make a uh, left turn off here, stop once we're clear of the runway and advise situation. Box, uh, continue to golf and uh, ahead of you. we'll plan to uh, come back in into the uh, shelter ramp. If it's above V1, we'll continue at 100 knots, we'll rotate at 102. We'll uh, plan to, uh, we'll fly straight out, to climb to a safe altitude, we'll call 2,000 feet today. And uh, we'll plan to go to Orlando if it's not a severe emergency, if it's anything crazy, we're coming back here to Melbourne. If not, we're going to Orlando because there's a Textron service center there. So that's what we're going to do. Um, that is that. Go around button is set. Takeoff, takeoff, VNAV. And we're ready to rock and roll. Citation 2 Romeo Foxtrot. Uh, are you ready? We're ready to go, sir. 2 Romeo Foxtrot. Very good. Hold short. T7 left at Sierra. I'll be working on your release. All right, hold short, 27 left at Sierra, Satishan, 2 Romeo Buckshot, thanks. All right, that's always good news. Always have great service here by the uh, Melbourne uh, controllers. You can see how busy the, uh, the airspace is around here. We got airplanes, like at least 30 airplanes within a 10 mile uh, radius. Citation, 2 Romeo Buckshot, traffic uh, north to south through the departure corridor. Through the departure corridor is a twin tech compliment out of 600 feet. Runway 27 left at Sierra, it's clear for takeoff. Fly heading 280, maintain 2000. Okay, traffic in sight. Runway 27 left at Sierra, clear for takeoff. Fly heading 280, maintain 2000. To Romeo Foxtrot. All right, clear left, clear right. To the, uh, below the line. Ice protection systems not needed. Ice, uh, pedo statics coming on. Lights coming on. Engine instruments are clear before takeoff checklist is complete. Let's go. Okay, three Charlie Kilo, extend down one. You're going to be number two. You're following a Skyhawk on a three mile final. Let me know when you see him. Roger that. We'll extend the downwind. We'll keep an eye out on that uh, traffic number two to land. Uh, All right, let's rock and roll. Kilo. Stable. Takeoff. Takeoff power is set and achieved. Two good engines. Airspeed's alive. Both sides. Melbourne Tower. 70 knots. Uh, Holding short. He won. Rotate. Pause the brake. Gear up. E2 plus 10. Flaps up. The odd damper. Flight level change. Climb power. 400 feet. Heading. 27 right. Clear for departure. And 10 left on course for 233. Clear for takeoff, ma'am. For takeoff, 233. Citation 2 Romeo Fox, uh, contact the land at departure 132.65, good day. 3265 to Romeo Fox, should see you. Or land at departure, how you doing? Citation 2 Romeo Fox, shot 1600, climbing to 2280, heading. Citation 2 Romeo Fox, shot land at departure, radar contact, follow the main chain, 5000. 5000 to Romeo Fox. Central and Catholic is now. Level change, 5000. Information sector. Orlando Pro, Track 5, 5 Delta. She's going to go VS here. The field outside, and we have information with the Autopilot's on. Space Coast, and we'd like to cancel VFR flag following. All right, we're above the Delta here, so we are good to go. 
That was a little broken there. Confirm that was 2 Romeo Foxtrot, 9000 heading 290. 2 Romeo Foxtrot, affirmative, heading 2905. Now 295, climb and maintain 9000. All right, heading 295, climb and maintain 9000, 2 Romeo Foxtrot. 9000, heading 295. Fox VFR, frequency change approved. Have a good day. Fox VFR, frequency change approved. 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 24 8 to Romeo Fox Jet. See ya. Four lander departure, good. Morning citation to Romeo Fox Jet. 4,600 climbing, 9,000 heading 295. Citation to Romeo Fox Jet, lander departure, good morning, climbing, saying 1, 2,000. 1, 2, 12,000 to Romeo Fox All right. The throttles are in the climb detent. Pack safety switch is good. Lights recog. Pressurization. The diff's coming up, cabin slowly climbing, and altimeters to go at 18. So our route of flight today, I'll put a little picture up here somewhere so you guys can kind of see it, but it's interesting. We basically hug the Florida coast, the east coast of Florida, until we're about uh, 150 miles or so three, one, north main, of eight, uh, eight, Jacksonville, and then we uh, kind of make a right turn and follow the, the coast pretty much uh, north, northeast bound. There is uh, a lot of weather up in the northeast today. Citation right. 2 Romeo Foxtrot, climb maintain 1-6,000. One, 1-6, six, 16,000, 2 Romeo Foxtrot. All right, got a good rate here. 16,000 is set. We'll go back into flight level change here. Just trying to get a good rate in the climb there. Uh, trying to get above the uh, Orlando MCO is right, uh, obviously, in front of us. So from prior experience, when I've been flying in and out of this airspace, uh, the quicker you can get a climb up, uh, the quicker you can get on course and not get delay vectors. So that's why we had a bit of a higher uh, climb rate today keeping it in vertical speed, and uh, now we're approaching 10,000 feet, so we should be able to get on course here shortly. So, uh, yeah. Citation 2 Romeo Foxtrot, clear direct Worms. Direct Worms, 2 Romeo Foxtrot. All right, Worms, activate well, nav. Departure, Hawker, five, seven, four, Hotel, 3.1 for 7,000, heading 140. Hot 5740, Hotel, departure, right of contact, turn left, hitting 030, call me, say, 16,000. 030, 16,000, Port Charlie Hotel. King 315 hitting 140. King 315 hitting 130. So you can kind of see, uh, I'll show you guys up here. here. A lot as a huge uh, frontal system uh, pushing east of, uh, kind of over Ohio right now, Pennsylvania. 2635, Romeo Fox, great day. Hawker Forge. So there's uh, a lot of weather pushing through. Actually, I delayed our departure by a couple hours this morning. The ceilings at White Plains were uh, vertical visibility 100 feet. RVR was at 1,200 feet. So that obviously wasn't going to work. So we delayed the departure a little bit and uh, timing it to uh, get in but before this uh, big frontal system uh, that's kind of Kentucky, Ohio right now pushes through. So right now the uh, conditions in White Plains is uh, less than a mile visibility, light rain, mist, and vertical visibility, 200 foot ceiling. So uh, the RVR is greater than 6,000, so that is good, but it's uh, right at minimums right now. Jax, good morning, citation to Romeo Foxtrot, 15-2, climbing a 1-6,000. We'll call it a 1 from a 574 Charlie Hotel, Jax, and our climb maintained, final level 230. Maintain final level 230, Fort Charlie Hotel. There are two Romeo Foxtrot, do you try to call? Yes, sir. Good morning. 15-7, coming to 16, to Romeo Fox. Romeo Fox, Ron Jackson, our climb maintained, final 230. 230, to Romeo Fox, Trot. Number 30, Bravo, contact Miami. Flight level 230 is set, flight level change. Good morning, 30, Bravo. Uh, the reason why we uh, took a top off of, of fuel was because uh, our alternates in Allentown, um, that was the closest alternate that we could uh, find today that met, met the, uh, the FARs, the, basically the rules of when you fly IFR when your airport is uh, requiring an alternate. Um, a lot of the airports right now around New York don't meet uh, don't meet the, uh, the requirements to be eligible for an alternate. So uh, we had to go a little bit farther to the uh, west today um, and uh, file our alternate airport. If we could not get into White Plains, that would be Allentown. So uh, that's another reason why we had to bring extra fuel. And also, when you have the opportunity, 
if weight and balance allows it. Always a good thing to have more fuel than less. So uh, right now we're showing uh, touching down at White Plains at uh, about two hours and 30 minutes from now and uh, with 2,500 uh, pounds of fuel. So that is really, uh, really good shape on that front. If we have to hold or whatever it might be, um, we still have plenty of fuel to still fly to our alternate. So the weather's meant to improve up to uh, about 800 foot overcast ceilings, which is, which is super nice. So hope everyone's doing well. It's great to be back filming. Uh, you know, in our last video, I mentioned that we had been uh, hadn't been flying that much recently, but uh, schedule's starting to pick up. And uh, Citation Dad and Citation Mom and, uh, and the family's definitely going to get busier as the uh, as the next uh, few weeks and months progress into the summer. So that's really exciting. Um, and hopefully uh, get get some uh, some good videos for everyone to uh, enjoy. And then. We got uh, Oshkosh in the summer and a lot of good stuff to uh, look forward to. So, leveling at level 230, we'll go into the cruise detent. Jack, 2 Romeo Foxtrot, any chance of a higher? Number 2 Romeo Foxtrot, contact Jackson, 127.47. 2747, 2 Romeo Foxtrot, good day. Good day. Jack, good morning, Citation, 2 Romeo Foxtrot, level 230. Uh, 2 Romeo Foxtrot, climb on maintain for level 330. Climb to 330, 2 Romeo Foxtrot. Alright, so we'll start a VS climb here. Nice gentle climb. Beautiful. We're at 24,000 feet ish, and we have been in the air 12 minutes. Not too shabby. Alright, it's probably going to get uh, boring uh, for the next uh, hour and a half or so before we do begin our descent into uh, New York. And I got to have my uh, my English muffin. So uh, I'm going to turn off the cameras for a little bit, and uh, we'll talk to everyone uh, as we get a little bit closer to New York. See you in a bit. All right, everyone, we are back about uh, 25 minutes out, 120 miles at 22,000 feet. Air traffic control has given us a crossing restriction of the Bono waypoint at 17,000 feet. So we have that all ready to rock and roll. We've been in the clouds for about the past like 30 minutes. They uh, we got a descent and pretty much out of 39, 38,000 feet, uh, we've been uh, in IMC conditions. So uh, we're going to start uh, getting ready for this. Uh, we briefly arrived already, but just wanted to show you kind of what we're doing here. It's the Bono 5 now, which cool thing. It's it used to be the Bono 4. Um, and now they've done some amendments and changes to this arrival where uh, they've given hard restrictions on the arrival. Um, so they can technically say descent via the arrival now. There's also a, a heading off of rhymes where before there never used to be. So, um, but uh, anyway, we're coming in over Bono there. Uh, we started the transition at Sea Isle BOR and now we're making our way in on the Bono 5. The weather right now is not uh, is not looking great. Uh, currently, right at minimums, if not below minimums. Weather ceiling looks to be changing pretty rapidly. Uh, the TAF. Thirty-five eight, Romeo Foxtrot. See ya. Um, the winds are meant to be picking up, which is meant to be pushing a lot of this fog uh, out of the area. But that hasn't really started to happen yet. Uh, however, I've been checking on uh, the Wi-Fi flight radar 24, um, and airplanes are arriving no problem. Uh, general aviation airplanes and uh, and airliners. So uh, I, I think the uh, there's quite a few airplanes that are actually seeing the runway, the runway environment, or the runway, and then. Uh, and continuing down and seeing the runway at the appropriate uh, point in landing. So uh, we'll see what happens. The weather out to the west um, and southwest is a, it's a VFR. So Titaboro, we're going to use that as our alternate now um, because uh, we don't need to go to Allentown. So Newark, Morristown, Caldwell, Titaboro, it's all VFR, really nice. So if we can't get into White Plains, um, that's going to be our plan. The uh, the weather right now. You can see right there. Vertical vis 100 feet. Drizzle fog. Winds uh, five knots. So that's uh, 
that's kind of what's going on right now. So uh, yeah, that's that's the plan. We're going to be shooting the ILS 1-6, so we're going to brief that up here in a second. Boston Center, hello, citation, two Romeo Foxtrot, 17,000 over Bono. November 740, uh, I'm sorry, November 2, Romeo Foxtrot, Boston Center, the Kennedy Altimeter, 2968, there's scattered moderate precipitation along the route, and there is a seasonal to continuous light stop reported. Roger, thanks. All right, so we're going to do our descent checklist. Windshield defog is on. Pressurization is set. Landing fill elevation. Altimeters are 2968 set three times. Exterior lights are good. Uh, landing data. So we're going to be shooting the ILS-16. The minimums are 639. Brief the, uh, the uh, approach here. It's the uh, ILS-16 in the white plane, 209.7 is the frequency, 163 is the inbound course. The glide slope final approach fix is Zimmer at 2,000 feet, that's 50. Two, one, Fox, 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 Fox. Deer Park at 15,000 and 250 Okay, Deer Park at 15,000, 2,5,000 Alright, Deer Park at 15,250, so it's at 15,000 feet. Zero is at a 19.8 to cross, 45 south of Hoffie at 15,000. November 7, 4, 0, Quebec, Sierra, Boston, All right, so uh, minimums are 639. That is set two uh, two times. If we got to go missed, it's climbing to 1,000 feet, then a climb and left turn to 3,000. heading 150 on the outbound La Guardia, 044 radial to heart on the 23.5 DME and hold. We'll hold at 3,000. So what we'll probably end up doing is they'll kind of vector us to the. Two, Romeo Fox, contact New York approach 124.07. 2407, Tromeo Fox, yeah. Um, and then we'll kind of get uh, vectored in by uh, the best in the business New York approach. So uh, that looks good. Again, mins are set, everything looks really good there. Get our landing data in. We're going to be uh, ILS 16. All right, landing configuration is flap 25. We are going to, uh, the temperature was 9 degrees, so we're going to put anti ice on numbers for our engine anti ice. And if we're at ref, we need 3,800 feet. And if we are refing plus 10, we need 4,600 feet available. And we have 6,500 available. All right, landing data is in. Crew briefing is complete. Avionics flangements are checked and set. Nick Approach, how you doing? Citation to Romeo Fox. Shot 16.8 for Deer Park at 15,000. Citation 2, Romeo Fox, right near approach, White Plains, Altimer 2966, across Deer Park at 15,000, cross 20 at maintain 11,000. Alright, Deer Park at 15,000, and Gwinnie at 11,000, 2 Romeo Fox. Alright, so that is looking good. We're going to go out here. We're going to do direction 131, turn left to direct rhyme, it's going to maintain 4,000. And we're going to set 11,000. Set. And approach to Romeo Fox truck. To Romeo Fox truck, go ahead. Roger. Uh, I know it's updated weather. Uh, do you know if aircrafts are able to get into the White Plains right now? So we're to Romeo Fox truck, uh, from whenever everybody's getting there. Great, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Sir. All right, well, that's good news. All right, crew briefing's complete. Uh, Avionics flangements are checked. Fuel transfer is off. No passenger seat seat belts. We're going to get my shoulder harnesses on here. Okie dokie, pack safety switch not required, messages are normal, engine anti-ice is on, and pressurization 0 0.5 by touchdown. Before it does get super busy on the uh, arrival, I do have an Instagram account, Citation Max number one. So if you on Instagram, uh, it's the best way to stay updated on uh, my flights and where I am on more of a day-to-day -day basis. So uh, yeah, go check it out if you have Instagram, love to uh, connect and uh, see you on there. Station 2, Romeo Fox, try to turn left for direct Bridgeport, send to maintain 6,000. All right, left direct Bridgeport, send to maintain 6,000, Romeo Fox. All right, out of VNAV, VS, 6,000, Bridgeport. So we're going to keep that, we're just going to turn right now with the heading knob, and then uh, we'll get Bridgeport set up here in a second. 6,000 is set. Now that's a, f I haven't got the... Bridgeport in a while. That's a pretty tight turn there, so we're going to see how this looks on the uh, MFD once we do Bridgeport. Yeah, it's going to be pretty tight. That'll be alright. Alright. You can kind of see it's 
looks kind of nice over here over Long Island. One one five eight zero contact Boston Center one three four point three. Gonna change. Thirty four point three. We'll see if that is done. Station two, Romeo Foxtrot, center maintain four thousand. Turn left to direct Ryan. Four thousand left turn direct Ryan to Romeo Foxtrot. All right, we love it. Rhymes is in. Insert activate FMS nav 4000. If we can't get into White Plains, we got plenty of fuel. We have uh, 2,400 uh, pounds of gas, so two and a quarter hours of fuel, two and a half hours of fuel, so. We'll definitely, uh, probably if we can't uh, get in, we'll, uh, we'll obviously go mist, we'll hold somewhere, wait a little bit for the weather to improve, shoot it again, hopefully, and then if we can't get in the second time, that's when we'll go to our, we'll go to our alternate. It's kind of uh, my plan. Station 2, Romeo Foxtrot, area of light uh, to modern precipitation, 12 o'clock and 2 miles. Area is about 5 miles in diameter. Romeo Foxtrot, roger. Cherry 90, still maintain 3,000. Station 2, Romeo Foxtrot, contact near approach, 126.4. 26-4, Turbio Foxtrot. Good day. <laughs> New York, how you doing? Citation, Turbio Foxtrot. 4.6, descending 4,000. Thank you. Citation 2, Romeo Fox. Welcome back. Fly okay. present heading and descend to 3,000. All right. Present heading, descend to 3,000. Turbio Fox. This is uh, Jet 878. Okay, heading select, heading 3,000. Okay, we're on vectors now, so I'm going to go here and procedures, activate vectors to final. Big thing here about flying IFR and staying ahead of the airplane, right? So everything feels slow, so everything feeling fast, right? Getting all your frequencies programmed in. We got tower standing by, so all we got to do is one, one hit of the screen and we're on tower. We don't have to type anything in, keep our heads down, all that stuff. We got uh, ground, you can see COM2 ready to go. Um, we got everything where we need it to be. All our checklists are done besides a before landing checklist. So it's really staying ahead of the airplane, especially in, you know, IFR condition, single pilot, all that stuff is what are the things you can do to stay ahead of the airplane? That really, it feels like, you know, I'm just going at my own pace, right? Two Romeo Fox, turn right in 320. Right turn 320, two Romeo Fox, drive. All right, 320. Yeah, we're at 3,000 feet right now, and it's 41 knots of wind. So that's, whoa, one, a good sign that it's going to help probably uh, push the fog out of there, but uh, also not uh, great for wind shear and other potential considerations. Two Romeo Fox, turn left heading 250. Left turn 250, two Romeo Fox, drive. 250 heading. Citation 2, Romeo Fox, reduce speed to 170, then maintain 2000. Okay, 170 on the speed, then maintain 2000, to Romeo Fox drive. All right, idle power. Good, good. Let's go flaps 15, speed checks. All right, there's 170, start down. Two Romeo Fox, you're five from Zimmer, turn left heading 200, maintain 2000 until established, cleared ILS for runway 16 approach. Left to heading 200, maintain 2000 until established, get the ILS 16 approach to Romeo Fox Drive. All right, 200 on the heading 2000 until established, we'll get the ILS 16 approach. Lope, glide slope is confirmed in the standing by. A really nice vector too. Strong wind up here, it just corrects beautifully for that gorgeous vector right onto the localizer. Oak, Oak capture. Okay, number two on your Fox contact, Russia to tower, one eight five seven. Have a good day. Eighteen fifty seven, Jeremy Fox. See ya. 
Southwest to Tower, good afternoon, South Station 2 Romeo Foxtrot, 2 outside Zimmer, ILS 16. Over 2 Romeo Foxtrot, West Coast to Tower, previous arrival reported the field at minimum. The RBR is better than 6,000, runway 16, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 16, 2 Romeo Foxtrot, thank you. Alright, so they've been reporting the uh, runway at minimums. The RBR is greater than 6,000, so we got to be uh, on our A game here. Volunteer 131, turn right at Kilo, ground point 82. Right at Kilo, ground point Quiet slope, gear down. Volunteer 131. Miss approach altitude is set 3,000. Below 161 knots, flap 35, landing checklist. Before landing checklist, any gear down 3 green, no red. Flaps are 35, and indicating 35. The speed brake is down. Airspeed is cross jack, V ref is coming back, autopilot and yard dampener to go. We are just past a thousand feet to minimums. 30 knots of wind off the uh, quartering right hand side of the airplane. Keep a little extra speed here. Yeah, it's getting a little sheery. Can I increase the airspeed plus 10 knots. Okay, 500 to minimums. 500. Four hundred. Three hundred. It's a hundred feet to minimums. Ground contact. Two hundred. Approach lights in sight. Autopilot. Continue. Runway in sight. Minimums. Minimums. Landing. 100, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Breached it. Speed brakes out. Romeo Foxhead has, uh, has a goal, and we're going to Atlantic East. Here we have Fox, Roger left off, ground point 82, we'll see you. Ground point 82, throw me a Fox, see ya. Runway 3812, let's just retire, runway 16 RBR, better than 6000, clear for takeoff. Alright. Clear for takeoff, runway 16, on voy 3812. Well everyone, hope you enjoyed that video, that was uh, super awesome and thank you so much for uh, being a part of this channel it means a lot to me so just really glad you enjoy the content and uh, have a great uh, rest of your day wherever you're watching this video take care and we'll see you on the next video see ya